back with another one. Um, I hope you're well, I hope your family are good, and I hope this nightmare that is lockdown and the old COVID situation isn't treating you too bad. It's a particularly dangerous time for us addicts um, with time on his hands, the mental health impact and financial impact in a gambling sense. Um, and I think we've just got to keep strong, keep doing things that have been working for us. Um, in my case, that's filling my time, be it just watching a movie, getting into a series, gaming, um, and keep talking if we are struggling. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, this video is a little bit different to my normal um, videos in which I try to speak from my experience to advise others on how to stop gambling, how to avoid becoming a gambling addict and, and such. Um, I'm going to touch a little bit on my story. Um, if you want to watch the full length of my story, it's in one of the videos below. Um, but yeah, one of the most asked questions is how much is my biggest gambling loss um, now in a 24 hour period and in a two session period it's seven thousand pounds in a eight hour single period it's six and a half thousand pound or six and a half thousand pound that i could have walked away with um so yeah i the £7,000 one, I was one day wondering how I could get money to gamble, um, many of them days, but this particular day I had wrote down my wife's bank card details, the long number and details from it. I signed up to an online uh, casino, Coral, um, and before long, she was out, I think she was at work. Um, I'd lost, well, I'd deposited and lost three and a half thousand pounds. The next day, um, obviously my wife was distraught. I'd lost as money for food, the rent, the bills, the, the fuel for the car, everything, I'd lost it. So she told her father, who out of unbelievable generosity replaced that money um, straight away basically and obviously and I, I do mean this I was extremely grateful but the gambler the pig inside me wanted to get back what I'd lost so that night um, the following day I she was asleep on the sofa um, I logged into her online banking and transferred the money, the three and a half thousand pound that the father had replaced into my bank and deposited 500, 500, you know, kept depositing and lost the full three and a half thousand pounds. So in the space of 24 hours, I've lost 7,000 um, pounds. Obviously, I don't want to glamorise that in any way. It was disgusting, you know. Um, I really, I still struggle to this day, which I, I'm going to do a video on, with the guilt of what I did. Um, I'm rightly so in, in many respects, but it was, there's no excuses. I take full responsibility. Um, it was a time when I was so much consumed, honestly, I was just overrun with gambling and I just, I just did it, I just did it and I knew there was consequences but I just, I just did it and I, you know, I'm really sorry to everyone who I hurt doing that um, the the other one is yeah I was on holiday with my wife and another couple 
um, and we was in Devon in a caravan. We were staying in a caravan, and I realised I'd got fifty-two pounds put into my bank. Um, so I deposited it online. Of course I did. Um, and I remember going out that night to the clubhouse, and everyone was having a good time, singing, dancing, drinking, and I was making so many trips to the toilet, so many trips to vape, so many trips back to the caravan. Of course I had stomach ache and I needed a, a, a vape and things. Um, just excuses, because I just wanted to go and gamble, which I did. Um, and this is probably from seven o'clock in the evening. By three o'clock in the morning, I'd, I'd got up to six and a half thousand pounds and I'd done the wagering so I could have cashed that six and a half thousand pound out from a 52 pound deposit. Could have walked away with it. And although we was on holiday, at the time we really could have done with that money, it would have really helped. Um, so I'm there, everyone's asleep by this time, three, four o'clock in the morning. Um, or so I thought, actually. Um, a little funny antidote if you like but it's it's not particularly funny looking back at what I did um, I was slotting you know playing slots on my phone um, and I wanted to go and sit in the living area of the caravan and as I walked in um, the other couple was having a bit of how's your father shall we say um, in a undressed state um, and rather than do what normally would happen, which is to apologise and immediately leave the area, I just carried on walking forward and sat down, um, focused on my phone, watching the slot spinning, um, and didn't offer any apologies, didn't really care what they was doing, made it very awkward for them. And the reason I'm saying all this about what they was doing is that that's the level of consumption. That's a gambler in gambling mode. Whatever's going on around him isn't important in that very moment. And I was just consumed as I, I use that word a lot. And uh, like I said, I made it very awkward for them. Um, but I was just spinning away. Um, and needless to say from being able to cash out six and a half thousand pound from a 52 pound deposit I was doing four, th four and a half thousand pound roulette spin on one of them um, two thousand pound roulette spins and so on from being in that position I lost it all um, so yeah seven thousand pound in a 24 hour period and six and a half thousand pound in a single session eight hour period um, they're my biggest financial losses with gambling um, there's been others you know where I've had big balances or where I've deposited heavy I remember somehow one week cashing out £12,000 somehow I did that I don't know how I had the strength to cash it out um, as soon as it hit my bank, I lost 1,000 straight away. Transferred my wife the rest. Um, but for the next four or five weeks, every time I got paid weekly, I would blow that money because in my mind, we've got the 11 grand, we don't need the wages. So it was just gambling funds in my mind back then. Um, so that's probably a couple of grand. And, that's even though you've had a big win it, in my mind it's it, it's a negative because a it shows you false hope that you can win again win big again but it also you know sends you into a false sense of financial security and again even though i'd won big i wanted more and more and more and eventually i probably did a fair bit of that money in as well so I get asked this quite a lot, what's your biggest financial gambling loss? They're my answers. Um, 
and the thing is I've done a video a full video about my story I don't want to glamorize this in telling my story I don't want to glamorize big wins big spins big um, deposits things like that. I don't want to glamorize that in any way I just I just want to sh sort of I put videos out advising people on how they can avoid gambling addiction and um, stop gambling based on my experience but I also want to give a little snippet you know people may not want to watch the full 30 minutes of my story they, you know they may have other things to do but I want to give off a little snippet that I've been there I've done these things and the end result when you're similar to me totally consumed by gambling and really are addicted to gambling the end result is never ever a good one even if you win and I, I urge anyone out there as I always say if you're struggling get help um, get help I'll, I'll put links in the description below by all means contact me on Twitter um, it's in the description below um, and, and as I said just don't suffer alone um, but yeah that's it for this video um, the feedback I've had so far on, on my channel has been fantastic it really has um, and again I always ask if you got a chance just leave a like on the video leave a comment if you can share it subscribe I just want to help the YouTube al algorithm get these videos in front of people who really may be struggling from um, addiction and in this case gambling addiction and a very minimum just by hearing me speak about it and others they won't feel alone and that's you know a powerful thing so i'll see you on the next one thank you for all your help and support it's really appreciated um, and stay safe and i'll see you again